Hello, it's Uncommon Fossil. Today, taking a look at the Roaring Moon EX starter deck. Features four Roaring Moon EX. It's got two very good attacks. Calamity Storm, the second attack for three energy, dark, dark colors. Both attacks are dark, dark colors. Does 100 damage, and then if you discard a stadium from play, it does 120 more. So I can do 220 damage as long as there's a stadium in play. We do play four stadiums of our own because we really like them. And of course, that damage bump is useful for sure. And then Frenzy Gouging Attack lets us swing for the big knockouts against anything. Um, not it, it, uh, You knock out your opponent's active Pokemon. Boom, just knocked out. As long as they don't have Mist Energy, of course. And then we put 200 damage on ourselves, which isn't ideal, but hey, to one-shot a Charizard EX is very good. They call it a Roaring Moon EX deck, but I really think it's really more about the single prize Roaring Moon, though, which, which is... A, a new Pokemon. I believe this is the only new po po Pokemon from Temple of Forces in any of the starter decks. Four of this also, and I think this is the star of the deck here. Uh, Vengeance Fletching is what we attack with. Two Dark Energy, or two Darkness Energies, then 70 damage, plus 10 more for each Ancient card in the discard pile. That's Ancient cards of any type, Pokemon or Trainers, or Energies, but they don't exist, so any ancient Pokemon or trainers, and there's a number of good trainers there, so, um, you know, it, it's swinging for big, decent damage, not the same level as Roaring Moon EX, but, but very meaningful damage that ramps up as the game goes on, and it gives up one prize, so this is what, in most matchups, I, I'm using as the go-to attacker, the second attack, uh, speed wing for four energy does 120, you just don't use it, just pretend it's not there, basically, I guess there could be a time you use it, but basically... Uh, Vengeance Fletching gets above 220, 120 pretty easily. Uh, we're still coming up a little short, obviously, with Roaring Moon. So what the deck has is it's got Poison to make things happen. It plays three copies of Brute Bonnet. It's an ancient Pokemon, so it does help ramp up the damage on the Roaring Moon. But it's here for Toxic Powder. Uh, if you have the Ancient Booster Energy Capsule tool attached to this Pokemon, you can make both Pokemon Poison, both yours and yours opponents. And... Um, if you have the tool attached to the active Pokemon, the active Pokemon is immune to, to the effect of the poison, which can be useful as well. And this lets 10 damage between turns for poison, but then we play Radiant Hisui and Sneasel in the deck. Uh, during checkup, you put two more damage counters on your opponent's poison Pokemon, so three damage counters between turns uh, speeds up the knockout process. So hopefully we're getting to the numbers we need. And then one copy of Squawkably EX, because we will need to get a bunch of Pokemon in the discard pile for the single prize Roaring Moon. And also, we're accelerating energy for the discard pile also with Dark Patch and Professor Sada's Vitality. So um, we, we do want stuff in the discard. So Squawk and Seize Ability, discard your hand uh, only on your first turn. Draw till six in, in hand, very good there. We can attack with it, but we're not really looking to do that. Let's place 10 Darkness Energies, which is a solid number. We do want to get a bunch accelerated, so a 10 kind of makes sense. Although, when I take a look at revising the deck, which I think I'll probably do in the next video, um, going to tweak to make some changes all around to Pokemon trainers and energy count as well. But 10 is a very reasonable number. These are the trainers the deck has. No ace specs. None of the starter decks have ace specs. So certainly when we upgrade the deck, we want to do that. Let me hit the uh, ancient cards because that because that is obviously a, a big deal. It's playing uh, four copies of Explorer's Guidance. This is the ancient support. You just look at the top six cards in hand, put two of them in your hand, discard the other four. So you, you get some some cards that you get to hand pick out of those six into hand and get uh, other cards, hopefully ancient cards to boost up the damage and then four copies of Professor Sada's Vitality. Really important to get your attackers up, especially if we're going to hopeful to attack second on our first turn. It's it's harder with the deck. Before Galarian Moltres V was in format, it made attacking turn one easier. It's certainly gotten tougher. Um, but a lot of times you have to use the single uh, prize Roaring Moon to attack turn one. But you choose Professor Sada's Vitality. We're playing four copies now because it's an ancient card. But it is also just really important in this deck to get things going. Uh, you, you, you attach up to two energies from your to your ancient. Uh, you choose up to two of your ancient Pokemon. Attach a basic energy from your genetic compile to each of them. This deck just plays darkness energy, so that's all we have. But if you play decks with an ancient box deck, you can have different types of energy, and you choose which ones you want to accelerate. So very nice there, and we and we draw three cards. So a very nice supporter there. 
four copies of Ancient Booster Energy Capsule. Brute Bonnet needs it to do the poison, and then as a tool, it gives the Ancient Pokemon that's attached to plus 60 HP and immune to special conditions. And of course, when it's in the discard pile, it, it gives another 10 damage to, to the Roaring Moon. So very nice all around. And then four copies of Earthen Vessel, right? Just a really good Ancient card that goes into a lot of decks. So we'd love to have four copies of it in this deck. Uh, you discard a card from hand, which of course may be another Ancient card. And you search your deck for up, to two, for up to two basic energies. So very nice there. What else do we play in deck? We play two copies of Boss's Order. Um, I think when I revise the deck, I'm, I'm going to drop the boss. But we'll, but it is a good card, right? It, it is a good card. The problem is the, the deck for an engine plays Pokestop. If, if you consider that an engine, you, you, look, you discard the top three cards in hand. You put any uh, items that were discarded into your hand that way. So you lose supporters, which makes boss a little less consistent you don't get into hand all that often and of course you often want to be playing uh, Professor Sada's Vitality or Explorer's Guidance really to help get things set up so boss just isn't as good I, in the deck but but it is there like I said uh, Pokemon to play for a nest ball and two ultra ball makes sense there I think for sure Buddy Buddy Poffin doesn't work with this deck all the Pokemon have HP is too high uh, two switch cart for some switching and it heals the Pokemon that swings to the bench 30, so that's good. There are only basics in this deck, so Switch Cart is the item of choice there. For Dark Patch, attach a Darkness Energy from the Discover Belt, the one of your bench Dark Pokemon. Very, very nice there. For Trekking Shoes, since you don't have an engine and you want to get cards in the Discover Pile, Trekking Shoes, shoes just kind of shrinks the deck a little bit and it helps get you a few cards in the Discard Pile that you want. Look at the top card of your deck. You can put it into hand, or if not, you discard it, draw the next card. Very nice there. And I think I said four Nest Ball, right? So those are all the cards. A, um, a logical set of cards, I will say, from play. I, I started but first by playing the Giratina V Star Starter deck. Going, switching to the Roaring Moon Starter deck definitely has felt like a step down. But let's take a look at the, the deck in action and uh, see what it can do. All right, let's see what happens here. Uh, I, I think I want to go second. This is a deck that I'm kind of on the fence about first or second. Um, potentially you could attack turn one, maybe the Roaring Moon EX. You need three energy on that, though, so that's that's a reach. Um, that's where the loss of the... Um, what was I going to say? Sorry. Uh, of the uh, Glare of Ultras V really hurts. That turn one, ability to attack turn one, we don't play that. We also don't play the energy switch, which would help, of course, but but it, it eats up deck space, right? So Roaring Moon's a nice starter there. I'm going, well, I'll find out if I'm going second or first once. I find, see what the timer does. Um, and uh, I'm going second up against, okay, an ancient oh, gouging fire, which is a very interesting one. 260 damage, uh, can't attack until it leaves the act the, the, the active spot. So that that's tough, right? It's not not even it misses a turn, but it can't attack again. But two or three HP is nice. And so they're probably gonna take the knockout this next turn, right? Most likely. Um I'm gonna trekking shoes first. I have less I wanna play that to see what my options are. So I already have Explorer's Guidance, which is a good card for this turn. Okay, so I will I'm going to thin out some energies, a thin one energy, um, get some energies out of the deck. So I ex just to give me some, hopefully some other options with Explorer's Guidance. All right, so I have, uh, I can discard energy. Let's say I have one Nest Ball. How do I work this now? This gets awkward, right? See, I don't. I guess I got a squawk ability. The problem is, is, is I, I can never use Dark Patch and Squawk ability at the same time, which doesn't feel great. Let's see. Do I have Squawk ability? I should have checked for that first. Um, squawk ability. I I use my supporter though, so I prob. I, the only way I can attack this turn, so I will Squawk ability. I'm not gonna attach to the active. I don't think. Um. Do I, or do I want to set up Squawk Ability EX? Maybe I'll do that. I'm going to set up... Well, I could potentially attack with it. I gave up two prizes, but I will accelerate some energies. So I'm going to Squawk Ability... I'm, I'm going to motivate. I'm just going to motivate, set up my next turn. 
that's what I'm going to do. So I, I want to attach. I, I'm getting a ton of energy in the discard pile, right? So there's, I don't need more. Oh, I should have. That, uh, that was a horrible, horrible misplay on my part. Um, horrible. I, I had dark patch, and I should have dark patch there, right? Um, all right, I'm going to load this these guys up here. Um, I'm going to put two energies on to the Roaring Moon. And, and they don't one-shot with my tool attached, right? I, now, that was a huge, huge, stupid blunder on my part. I should have Dark Patch to that Roaring Moon. I should have one more energy in play. Um, so can they attack, though? All right, so Iono... I lose my energy, but I, I, I a decent chance to have X. Okay, I got an energy into hand, so that's good. Boss's order, I that that's good too. I guess I I would cut it from the deck, um, but just because the deck is relying on Pokestop really heavily. So the good news is they might not be able to attack. I might be able to take a nice kind of free knockout here. Um, the problem is, is what I do the following turn. That is not great, but hopefully. If they can't attach an energy, um, I'm in decent shape, right? Did they already attach per turn? They did. Um, okay, the NTV. All right, then uh, what can they do, though? So it's Heat Blast. So I have the knockout, and I don't know if they can attack again next turn easily, right? The, the, the retreat cost is kind of high on him as well. Um, So I think I want to do this. I want to try to... Um, let's see what I discard here. Uh, just trying to get the damage numbers up on the single prize Roaring Moon. I'm going to have to go in with, I think, the uh, Roaring Moon EX. Take the knockout. I'll discard that. I, 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 the fight... The Okay. Um... So I do want I do one shot him. That that the poke actually helps me a lot here too. I will say. Um, so I retreat him. I don't have any more energy accelerated, so it gets a little awkward next turn. But you know I do two twenty damage, which which is what I do with bumping the stadium. Since I did the twenty damage poke, I don't have to use French gouging, which uh, would have been bad, right? Because then they can they can finish me off, right? To get the 290 for them is not the easiest thing. Um, they do 260 though, and then a Defiance Band, which I, I get, I would think the deck needs to play, will one shot me. But okay, let's see what happens here. Um, Radiant Greninja in the act, I assume they, they're not attacking, but I assume they can't, right? They probably don't play water, and I don't think they have any way they could accelerate them, even if they did have them. So, but I have Boss's orders, so that's good. So I can make it just a manual attachment and gust something up, right? So Sada's Vitality, right? That So they may be able to attack this turn, right? And in which case, it hurts. It hurts if they attack. And if I don't get a stadium of play, then I need to um, do my big attack. Now if I do the big attack, I might might want to use boss's order to get rid of the guy with more HP, right? He He's a little more vulnerable, right? 28, that 20 damage is helpful. Luminion V, so they haven't done a support yet, right? So, no, they did. So why are they doing, they played so the boss for next turn. I don't play Iono. I wish I could punish him with that, but I can't. Um, Luminion, are they leaving Luminion V in the active? Um, well, that's very, I, I don't understand. So maybe they're playing at a higher level than I am, but I don't, Luminium V for boss, and then switch cart the boss. I, I, I don't get it. I gotta say, Iron Valiant, okay. Um, uh, okay, I mean, so, uh, okay, I mean, I don't know why they did that switch, though, right? I mean, I really don't. Uh, it didn't make a lot of sense to me. I can definitely say that. All right, so I want to... 
boss. And then what I want to attach energy to, right? So I'm going to take out the guy with the energy. I'm going to have to do damage myself. I think I don't have a choice there. And they conceded, so... Right, I was going to have to just blow them up, but he was the guy that I needed to take down because he was the guy poised to ca cause me trouble. And um, so the, the deck worked a little confused by what my opponent was trying to do. And pleased to get a win, this deck has been struggling for me for sure. And let's see what happens. Finally beat a great Tusk deck. Not Once again, I did have to start put a Brute Bonnet in a starting spot, a starting Pokemon up against... Uh, uh, great Tusk, and which is not what you want to do because he's not the guy you want to attack with. He doesn't do big damage and you can't stream attacks, so it, it, it's just too slow. No, I want to go second. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm being dumb there. I'm just still in that go first mentality. Go second is better with this deck, but taking a mulligan, see what happens. Squawkabilly, you know, gives the potential for a big turn too, though. Another mulligan. That's not great. Uh, okay. This is probably good. Lugia Archaeops, I de would definitely want to go first because they can't attack until their second turn. So, actually, boss. Eh. Well, I don't, I, I don't, I'll take a mulligan. So, boss isn't going to sit in my hand. Boss is actually very good, potentially. Uh, if I could take out Lugia, you know, that would be crazy huge. All right. One more mulligan. And uh, Brute Bonnet, why, why, why? Okay. See what happens here. Um, probably Squawk with the EX, I'm guessing. Got Lugia, which is good for them. Okay. Do I have Squawk with the EX? I do. So I'm just going to do this. I want to get more energy in the discard pile. So it doesn't matter what I did. I'm not going to attach. Just going to discard all of this because I, I hopefully can make use of it all. Right? I can dark patch and... Uh, it's not horrible. Um, okay, I would have preferred to be able to attack with Roaring Moon, but not to be... And I think I should swing in the active here, right? I, I mean, the problem is I don't take the knockout at all. And I'll just end turn here. Because right now, what do I have? I don't, I have what? One, two, three, I have four. And I can discard both of these cards. Wait, I don't have any, no, I have energy in the discard, right? What do I have? Two, so. I can accelerate to both of them potentially. I don't really want to accelerate to either. I, I, you know, I really had wanted to get a, an EX into play. That would have, that was the dream, but through that dream, definitely came short there. So Tails, I don't remember whether it's a basic or an evolution. Um, obviously, look, taking out the Lugia, if they only had one Lugia V in play and taking him out, that's the dream but that's not going to happen. Now, this deck will play Mist Energy, which means I cannot one-shot things with Roaring Moon EX's big attack because it makes them immune. So, okay, Tails once again. So, Mancino. So, I actually haven't played... I don't think I've played against Lugia yet, so we'll see how this interesting... We'll be good to see how it goes. Um, yeah. So, even though I didn't... You know, I, I, I had wanted to, to, to go second. Going first probably was better. Uh, Lumini NV, okay. And uh, honestly, if, if they Iono me, I'm very, I'll am very i be very glad that I played Switch Cart, right? I didn't want to sit on that because I was I needed that for this next turn. I mean, possibly if I kept it and I was able to get a uh, Ring Moon onto the bench and then I could have Sada's and, and maybe Dark Patched and mainly Attached and swung into it, so it did it, you know, it was holding on to increase the odds of taking attacking with the EX this turn, my next turn. But it, it's still a, a not, I think it's low odds still. So I think that was the right play, is getting things set. Um, opponent's taking a, a long look. Um, we'll see. Okay, so Jacques. 
which, what does it look for? Evolutions, is that what it does? So missed energy, which is fine. Oh, so rush the win so they can discard a card and draw three. So they'll get one R caps in the discard pile. Um, they'll get both if they can. Um, they didn't, so they so that's not terrible. Um, see what happens here, right? Uh, do I want to? I can. I think I just want to. I think I want to attack. I'm not going to get the knockout, unfortunately. So let let me get some cards in the disc. So let me get this guy this guy Let's just start getting things set up for next turn right um fortunately it didn't help my damage output which is on a dark patch i think i don't i mean i could get two more i could play the earth and vessel which gets that which gets two in the discard pile, but I think I sit on this and uh, I have knockout next turn. I, it depends, actually. I need to get a stadium in play because with the missed energy, I only do 100. Without, without, I mean, without, I can't use the, the set, the first attack. I can't frenzy gouging. So um, obviously, they, they need to evolve to the V star. If they don't evolve to the V star, they're in a lot of trouble. Um, they have a lot of cards in hand. I assume they can make that play happen. If they can't, all right, so there's the V-Star. Um, they'll get down. Right now, they just have one in the discard pile, though. So if they can't only if they can discard the second guy, um, I know they have one another one in hand. Um, that's weird. The card kind of looks warped to me there. I don't know. I don't know why that is. Okay, but uh, what, what just happened? Oh, attached another en a gift energy. Are they? Well, I don't have knockout. They have 160, 120. And I only get to 140 with this. So uh, I don't. I could. I, so I don't want to earth and vessel away the Sada's Vitality. So I play Sada's Vitality. I attach to. Do I just want to attach to. Might just attach to the Ring Moon, not to Brute Bonnet, because I don't want to attack. So, okay, so they're getting their second Archie ups down. So that, that, that's, I mean, they had to do that. Had to do that, right? Because they, they need to get both Archie ups in play. If they only could get one in play, it made things tricky. Um, they could retreat and attack with Snorlax. Um, I will, this isn't great. This is not great. I think, I mean, I have to attack with Rowing Moon, I think. And, uh, They'll have missed energy attached, I assume. And we'll see what happens. So retreating, gonna send up the Snorlax. Um, so they need therapeutic energy, they need missed energy, and they need a third energy. Uh, right, therapeutic, because they, they, they don't wanna have to flip two coins to wake up from sleep, so. so uh, Oh, they didn't attach. They didn't attach a missed energy, though. So that means I, I can knock them out with uh, my first attack. So they didn't get missed energy down. Now, um, they're, they'll, they'll, they're, it, I'm an easy knockout, though, which isn't great, right? All right, I have to decide, I have to decide his vitality. It's, I'm not in a great spot here. I don't want. I, I I think I don't want to use the second energy. All right, that's bad. I guess. Um. Oh, this actually I want to do this because I want and I have guaranteed access to energy. It's the energy situation right now. Do I want to? I probably get rid of the EX. I'm trying to think, do I wanna, I lose, okay, so. Or maybe, you know what? I'll just get rid of the nest ball because I might want both these guys here, right? All right, now I'm in a very awkward spot here, I will say. Um, 
So I have the knockout with this second attack, which is very good. I, I can keep... Look, they're going to not one-shot me, though, but I don't want to make it easier than necessary. Um, do I want to toss down another Roaring Moon? That's part of my question here. Um, I will. I will. And I will take the knockout here and get rid of the stadium because I have to do that for the knockout. They should... Are they going to knock me? What, what, what did they do? Well, they have Chinchino, right? They, they have... So, so they're going to knock me out. That's what it is. So it's, what, seven? So they need one, two, three. So they need four energies on... Uh, the nice thing, if... I, I actually can... I actually get the counter knockout, though, with what I have now, because I have the Roaring Moon. The single prize guy will knock... Will one-shot him. So that that's really good for me. Um... I'm behind in prizes and falling further behind, though. They took the first knockout. They're taking a true prizer this time. Um, but, you know, we'll see what happens here. They got another Mancino down. I do have Boss, though, to take out a Lugia V. Um, I th uh, five, three. I really ne I need to get another single prize room moon into play. That that I really would like to I de, I really kind of need to get that single prize right now. I wish I had gotten rid of the um, I wish I had played things. I should have gotten rid of the boss. I think at this point and um, got so I could have had another single prize wearing moon to accelerate to this this turn. Um, well, I need to attack, so it, it, it's not really a mystery that has to happen. That has to happen. Okay. Um, okay. And I, I attach here, and I need two energies next turn to make an attack happen. That's the bad part, but... So I take the knockout, which... Is, which that, that was critical. Um, it... it I'm, I'm not in a good spot with the prize race, though, at all, right? I, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm further behind after that last set of turns, so. Okay. Um, how do I, do? okay. So they're saving the, the Chinchinos for, um, for the for the ex right which makes a lot of sense so they're gonna knock me out here um and then they're gonna just take out a single prize for gain i mean a double they take out the I, hopefully i can attack with a single prize or they're gonna take a two prize or this turn um so they just have game i don't think there's anything i can do to change the outcome here i mean i'll, I'll knock them out again i think but you know unless they run out of energies which i'm pretty sure isn't happening i have game I mean, they have games. So the good news is, yeah, I'll, I'll send him up. I, do I explore his guidance this turn? Maybe I do. Um, so grab this guy. I guess I'll grab a Sada's because if I survive a turn, and I'm not going to survive a turn, but Sada's is, is what I need, right? So 200 damage, very nice there. Stick him there. Just make it a little tougher on them. Drop that there. Take the knockout, but uh, they they should right. They they just they need three special energies right. So unless they've run out in deck, they have game, period. Right, ten. They really and, and if one's a double turbo, they no no that just it, it it it's by card. So they just need three special energies. Actually, double turbo ruins the, the numbers. They need three of them, none of them being special double turbo. Otherwise, then they need four. 
rate because the, because they, they actually get reduced. So, okay, what's that? So boom, yeah. So as expected, um, they they had to knock out. But you know, make make them show it, right? Just make them show that they could that they had it, right? So like I said, they just needed energy and deck, and uh, there things went not the way I would like, but un, but not unexpected. All right, let's see what happens. I'm looking forward to being done playing this Ring with Star deck. It's been a frustrating deck, I gotta say. Um, just coming up short and kind of awkward. Um, yeah, that's what else. You know, and I'm you know losing rope, losing uh, glaring uh, Moltres V have hurt the Roaring Moon EX for sure. I think that this really wants to be a single prize Roaring Moon attacking deck. It needs a little. It, it definitely needs some tweaking, is what I'm thinking. So I'm going second, right? So. Um, all right, so hopefully I can, if I can, uh, Sada's Vitality, I can I can attack right now. So, and, and then hopefully, you know, if he sits there, I can take a knockout, potentially. I just need to, I need to hit Sada's Vitality. That's what needs to happen. And I need to get this energy to the discard, which I have. All right, well, this is going to be awkward. So, yeah, so, okay. It's not terrible, though, is it? It's not terrible at all. Okay, so let's see. I don't really want to... I don't know. Yeah, I, I think that's a good card still. Um, and I guess I got to do this. I kind of don't want to do this, but I, I just need to thin things out to increase the odds of hitting something with trekking shoes. Um... No, I don't need Brute Bonnet. Ultra Ball. Okay, Ultra Ball's okay. I mean, it's a lot of energy is going to the discard pile really fast, really hard. I will say, oh, no. It's Glockable EX's prize. So that's, that's really bad. That's really bad. Okay, so this is just, this is kind of horrific right now. It's kind of horrific. So I'm going to... Just get my bench guy set up now. That's all I can do, I think. That's, that's I need a squawk ability, and, and I, I didn't like the discarding all those energies. Um, but anyway, it, it's fine. I don't know this is fine, actually. I don't feel like it's fine. So we, he doubles energies, right? Um, oh, no. Flip heads. I'm knocked out. So Gleezing is... Okay, so that's, that's right. So that guy's really... This guy's insanely annoying. Um, I think so. I think he failed on that, right? That's great. Bill's transfer. Klefki, no abilities. Okay. So I think I want to. I mean, I have the knockout here, which is good. I'm going to have zero cards in hand. Oh, no, that's right. I don't. I, that's right. I get cards in hand, don't I? Oh, do I want to. So I want to try poison, but I, I lose basic have no ability. So that's not very good for me, right? That's not really good. Um, I'm going to toss the tool on him and just do, does 100. Nothing huge, but that's okay. I got boss, which is nice for next turn as well. Um, Let's see what happens. Okay, Ancient Booster Capsule. And of course, partly you attach it, and then um, if it goes in the discard pile, you um, it, it boosts up. You know, it just gives you next Roaring Moon single prize. More does does a little more damage, right? Because right now, I did, I believe I did 100 that turn. Does it show me how much I did? Um, yeah, it says 100 damage. So that's really nice. So I, I, it, for a deck like this where... You know, damage is based upon some like condition with the discard pile. Then I know what the base number is for next turn. So okay, so they're gonna get their Alakazam into play. That wheezing, of course, is very uh, very annoying. I think okay. Well, this is actually good. I th I have to. I think I just I just have to make this swing. So wait. Uh, Knocked out by damage. Okay, so this is super nice here. So 
I'm going to retreat. I'm going to take you out because that's the logical play here. I retreat. And I will dark patch here. My Roaring Moon. And... I'm going to attach the tool because I think I'm going to have to use my big attack twice, the top attack, right? I need to knock him out, and then and then I can knock out the uh, the wheezing the following turn, and it does, no, it, it blows me up anyway. So that that was dumb on my part, right? It doesn't put me to thirty; it just knocks me out. So that that's fine. But they probably okay, there's my squawkabilly a little too late, but that's okay. All right, and I have energy attached to my single prize roaring moon. This this is good too. Um. So I think Sada's Vitality is very nice as well. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm trying to think, is there some way, I mean, a switch card would be awesome here. Not to be, oh, Pokestop though. I think, yeah, Pokestop seems like a good play because if I hit switch card, I am, I'm happy, right? Not gonna do that, but What's the energy situation? I can get one energy onto. Do I want to get a? It's, do I want to get the other EX in play? Because I do like the EX's fact that he just blows things up, right? No, I think at this point I, I want to get my other bring moon set up. So I'm going to just attack. I get knocked out if they flip heads, so there's no reason. So I'm going to bump my stadium. Yes. I take the knockout, so we'll see if the coin toss goes through. I can still win the game, even if it comes up heads for them. But hopefully it... All right, it's heads, so I'm knocked out. I like to do like that coin. It's very nice. So I'm knocked out. It's very sad for me. Um, but that's a okie dokie, huh? Okie dokie here, for sure. Um... All right, a switch cart. I, I, unfortunately, I don't have any more ener energy acceleration. Let's see. Uh, I mean, I have two more Sada's Vitality. I do have more Dark Patch and Deck. Don't have my Stave anymore. Uh, so we'll see. Uh, the, the game is... So Klefki... And they, they can discard my tool. So I, so I want to keep... So I definitely want to stop the guy without the tool because I can attach and just get rid of my tool. Um, do I want to get... If I, have, if I draw into energy, I get this other Roaring Moon into play. I mean, I toss down the EX. If, I, if they don't have... If I don't get any way to access energy, then I might just leave these two guys in play just because we'll see what happens. So that, you know, this is good for them. Um... But I have a prize. I'm guaranteed a prize this turn. So taking out their Alakazam was good. Right, so Maximum Belt, which gives which they got rid of, does 50 more damage to my active EX. I do play EXs, of course, and which they know. Um, but that that's a, okay. So might not matter for the numbers, right? So my turn. Let's see what I draw into. Uh, do I want to... I think I just take the knockout then. Since I don't have any energy to attach, I don't really want to get another Pokemon into play. Um, and at this point, our trekking shoes is good. Um, I think I one shot the coughing or the, the wheezing, even, right? And um, so it doesn't matter. How much damage did I do, by the way? It will tell me 130. Okay. So I just have I just have game now. Doesn't really matter what happens, right? I'm down to one prize, so they can flip. They can flip heads. I don't care. It, it's game. So there we go. So got things going, and we'll see what they do. Do they get to have a blast or not? They do. Two hit two for two on heads, but fortunately they were too far behind for it to work for them. So got the win. Um, yeah. So the deck, you know, it was just nice. It, it's, you know, honestly, I'm, I'm, 
I, I'm pretty sure I'm done with this build of the deck. So I'm, I'm feeling more relieved about being done with this deck than I am happy about the win. But look, it's, it's a starter deck. It's it's okay. Um, there, there are pieces, obviously, that, that are good for other decks, though. So it, it's not a bad deck in, the, in terms of the resources it gives us, but it's not a great deck in the, of itself. But, you know, certainly, I, I'm a, you know, I would say give all these starter decks a try a little bit, but if you don't, you don't find you're liking it, don't worry about it too much and don't um, play it longer than uh, you really feel that you, you, you want to. Uh, but t take a look at it and have some fun with Pokemon. Take care.